Speedy Deep, you're a liar. What? I said you're a liar. What are you talking about, man? You said you'd only ever do anything once, and yet you're going to ask us to like and subscribe every episode, aren't you? Well, yeah, man. It's like kind of what we do here at YouTube, you know, who I definitely work for. So, yeah. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Tragedy hath struck. I don't know what to say. I know I've lit a lot of you down. I don't know if the account is over. I don't know how long the rebuild will take, but it'll happen, and I just can't thank you guys enough for the support and love you sent my way. So, I was coming back from the intro at the wise old man, and I uh, DC'd right as I was running past the prison, and... You know, prison guard ripped through my level one defense like wet toilet paper, so I was dead before I could log back in, maybe like a, like barely a minute later. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's my one. Not the way I envisioned it, but hey, if, uh, if you don't die from a DC at some point, you aren't playing RuneScape, you know what I'm saying? In other news, to me at least, but not to most of you apparently, my individual NPC tags do not persist from one RuneLight session to the other, so... All my tagged rats are now untagged, and I'm forced to reevaluate the core mechanic of my account. But uh, I went back through all my footage, and here is the list of everything we've killed on the account so far. Now, I'm working out a new system utilizing chunks and spawn points and a few choice, nauseatingly long lists. But in the meantime, for this episode, we're putting a hold on any combat training while I iron out the new plan. So. I was originally planning on just tagging what I killed anywhere in the world, but we may need to take a more systematic approach to it. But that's okay, there is plenty of stuff to do for now. For most of all of this series, we'll be utilizing the chunks of the world to help organize where we've been and what we've done. If you aren't aware, a chunk is just a block of space in the RuneScape world. A chunk is a static 150 by 150 block of game tiles that makes up a loading zone of the game. You've undoubtedly seen the edges of these as you run from one loading zone to the other, or at the rear edges of the map like out in the Caribbean Desert. The first chunk ever coded was Lumbridge, where we spawned in, so I kind of want to use this first chunk to explore the process and just see what we need to track and how we're going to do it. I think we'll start by taking care of some of these trees. Oh ho ho, look at this. We got a clue nest, that's what they are, clue nest. Alright, so we, I haven't decided if we can do more than one of these, but we can definitely do at least one, so uh... All right, need this stuff. I got, I um, guess I still have the clue helper up, but uh, let's go over to Alcarid, Alcarid, <laughs> and uh, we'll pick up these leather boots, and then, um, yeah, I'll just take one of my bronze axes over, and we'll do this clue real quick. Hey, level six thieving. All right, do our emotes real quick, and off to, I'm guessing, the next clue. Yeah, the next clue. Alright, off to Draenor to talk to Fortunato. Taking a wide berth around this place. Yeesh. Alright, what you got for me, big boy? Another clue. Up to the Barbarian Village. A beginner clue can never be more than three steps, so I know this is the casket coming up. What we gonna get? Actually... Let's take this back to Lumbridge. I feel like it's the right place to open this. I know it's far from the most useful thing we could get, but I really love the shoulder parrot, so just give me a shoulder parrot. Ah, van braces and a earth staff. Not bad, not bad. Um, I guess it's like saving us a K, but yeah, yeah. So, there's a few trees left in this chunk, but that is level 10, and I chopped down a few on the other side of the general store, but that's really surprising to me that you can get level 10 woodcutting from just all the trees in just this first chunk of the world. So, yeah, that's interesting, right? I really wonder how far we're going to be able to get, because already I'm surprised. Huh. You can't cut this tree down. I can't remember if it's like part of the fairy tale quest or what, but apparently there's a uh, leprechaun in this tree. Totally normal. Well, I had this recording of me chopping down the first oak tree and how we're gonna start approaching, you know, multiple log trees, but I guess I recorded the wrong window, so you don't get that one. 
but this is how it's going to work in the future. So whenever we get to a tree that gives us multiple logs, we're going to keep chopping until our inventory is full, drop as many as we need to, and then keep chopping until the tree is completely down. So there's no confusion about you know what constitutes a full tree or not. It occurs to me at this point that the woodcutting level that we get is going to be completely dependent on RNG and how many logs we get out of each tree since the normal trees are definitely not going to be, you know, making the difference here in our ultimate woodcutting level. Ooh, one log tree. First one, not the last for sure. All right, first tree to give us a full inventory, but hey, good problems to have, am I right? Just going to yoink this area off the map real quick too. Hey, our first seed nest. Apple tree. Neat. Smeagol? Smeagol! Next, I want to snatch up everything that isn't nailed down. So we won't necessarily do this in every chunk, but we may end up tracking where it is completely looted in a sense with a chunk map just to make locating items easier in the future. Either way, every spawn we pick up gets tagged and can never be picked back up again. One iron dagger. I'm also going to go ahead and search all the crates and sacks and stuff like that, and anything that I find anything in will get marked. Anything that is empty, I just will leave unmarked, and it'll drive me crazy later, so that'll be fun. One onion. Oh, hey, the, uh, the frog royalty, princess, or king, whatever the hell this is. Two bronze pickaxes, one bronze arrow, one mind rune we picked up last episode, one jug, one pot, one bowl, two leather boots, a knife, a bucket, another jug, and a cabbage, a bronze dagger, and four regular logs. So here we have one of my chunk maps I'm going to start. This one is just for picking up item spawns, so anytime we clear every item out of a chunk, it will be marked as red on this map. That's not to say that I'll be picking everything up in every chunk we visit. It's definitely going to be better for me to pick some things up as needed rather than needing to go back to a bank to get everything. We'll have more progress maps for different things soon too, like creature kills. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start Cook's Assistant. <laughs> That's what it's called. I think quests will kind of be at my leisure. Keep in mind we aren't chunk locked or any kind of location locked. If I want to go off and do making history quests, you know, south of the uh, tree gnome village, then I can just go do it. Um, easy ones like this I'll probably do immediately, and as we get to the more difficult ones, they'll take a bit more preparation and planning. Quests will be some measure of just how far this account can get, since we definitely will not be able to do all of them. Alright, again, I haven't decided if I can buy just one set of shop stock or infinite of a shop stock, so you guys let me know how you feel about that, because that is something I'm very curious to know what you think about. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the sheep shear request too while I'm up here getting chef's assistant items. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and shear every sheep in this pen and label the pen as looted or something. All right, we're gonna get the stuff for Cook's assistant real quick, the flour, one of these eggs, and then uh, go milk a cow up there. Or actually, I guess we have to go across the river for that, but we're gonna get all those and uh, then shear these sheep and get these two quests knocked out. All right, so I'm just gonna go through and tag these guys as I, oh shit, wait, uh, oh, I didn't even know there were rams in here, damn it. Uh... <laughs> all right, we got away, <laughs> Jesus. Untag the ram. Ah, shit, I did it again. Ah, <laughs> run. The ram will kill you. <laughs> oh, come back here. The sheep does not want me to shear him. Jeez. Bro. <laughs> How have I failed this many times? Oh, oh, it's a dude in a sheep costume. <laughs> I, I did not, I did not read what this thing is. God damn it. All right, I think that's all the sheep. Yeah, it looks like that's all the sheep. 
just rams left in here but i am a little curious as to what the rams drop so we're gonna go ahead and kill one of them at least i'm guessing it's taking me so long because he's just so fluffy that the axe can't like bite into him you know absorb some of the energy the uh the momentum there we go all right what do you drop just bones of course all right, I'm just gonna until we get everything figured out I'm just gonna tag this and then label it with like one ram killed or something especially since these are all in a nice little convenient area uh, mr. chef here are these impossible to get items now please reward me verily thank you all right level four cooking off of that haven't cooked a thing in our lives all right, I didn't actually listen to Fred, and uh, I don't remember how many we need, so I'm just going to make them all into balls of wool. I feel like he wants 15, and I'm sure we're going to end up using probably more than all the extras of these balls of wool. So, yeah, all all balls. Balls of wool. You know what I'm saying. So the bank you're looking at now is... You know apart from the things that i got from tutorial island only things from this one singular chunk so this is everything in this chunk as well as the uh logs from the adjacent chunk over as well search every goddamn crate and sack in this place i think lumberage is broke they're not storing anything hey fred you you know about this guy who's just like cosplaying a sheep in your pen right it's kind of creepy and now, now from my perspective, he's the only thing that's left in there besides three rams, so super sketch. All right, Fred, here's your wool. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, that's not even all of them? Okay, so Fred wants 20 balls of wool. Um, Fred, I got some news for you, man. You only got 16 sheep here. He is uh, hes totally scamming me. <laughs> Actually, shit, how many sheep are there in RuneScape? 80 sheep. It's all the sheep in all of Gilinor. And only like 60 or 70 of them are able to be sheared because there's a few that you just can't shear like these ones like uh, just west of Lumbridge. Just they're already sheared. I guess they ran away. I don't know. All right. So uh, this quest has taken a bit of a dark turn. Fred doesn't just want some balls of wool. He wants a controlling market share of the entire world's population of wool, at least from my perspective. Jeez, uh, if I had realized sheep shear was gonna put such a dent in my, uh, you know, world's wool supply, I wouldn't have turned those in just yet. Um, I know there's at least one shop that sells them, but I haven't decided if I'm gonna allow like continually buying shop stocks or if I can only buy like, you know, one set of shop stocks before, um, it, you know, like it's out for me. Bravo, Fred, you wool mogul. Alright, well, uh, to complete Fred's quest, I guess I'm going to have to head up to these sheep, you know, just south of Lumbridge and shear some of these to get some extra wool. And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to head up to Edgeville as well and uh, grab the, like, three sheep that are north of the Edgeville Monastery. And having sheared all of those, that is all the sheep in all of Asgarnia. So, yeah, it's like half the world's supply of sheep here. Or wool. And sheep. Both. Oh, perfect. And some of them up here can't be sheared either. Just great all right let's shear these pious sheep and that will be this entire continent of wool <laughs> Jesus. so i think this may be kind of how we approach certain like random one-off things like collecting all the wool in runescape um you know we'll we'll do it somewhat systematically where you know i'm not going to go over to ardune right now make that huge long trek go across white wolf mountain and risk getting eaten by the wolves to to go get that wool but you know we may kind of like do all of one subsect of thing all at once, like collecting the wool or, or killing the imps, for example. All right, level three crafting. That was probably not worth it for how much wool we needed to use. So I originally started this account because I just randomly wondered how many trees there were in RuneScape, and I'm really not usually like a woodcutting guy, but um, I kind of am just feeling the itch to get some woodcutting done, start, you know, getting a dent into the wood chopping down some of these trees um we're not gonna do all of it not by any means uh we're you know maybe gonna go from like the members gate to the south river not counting the wilderness just yet and uh you know see where that puts us 
So I think I'm gonna kind of start expanding out into the adjacent chunks and just uh, kind of clearing up all the trees that are around Lumbridge and expanding out from there. Like I said, I want to take down a whole bunch of trees, try and do everything from the salve over to the Members Gate west of Faldor and just see where we land. Oh, look at that, another clue nest. Awesome. Um, I've been thinking about it. I think we're gonna go ahead and just do multiple clues because it's gonna end up being like one of the better sources of items for us and you know they're like randomly generated you get you don't ever get a clue from the same exact thing so uh yeah i think they're fair game let me know if you guys have a problem with this and i'm i'm happy to drop any rewards i get from them so we'll come to a nice medium whatever that is back to the barbarian village Whew. look at all those trees now, I know you can't cut down all of them in there, but this is going to be a slog, Draenor Manor, at least. Hey, what's up, Henley? Hunding. <laughs> Henley. I don't know where I got that name from. Off to Charlie the Tramp in Varrock. Alright, Charlie, what are you going to force me to do? A herring. A herring. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go get a herring. Alright, I just popped on over here to the desert so I could uh, take the ferry down to the ruins of Unka and pick up a fishing rod and some bait so I can catch that herring. So not having feedback from anyone yet because I'm recording this before the series has even been posted on YouTube, but I am recording meticulously everything that gets bought from a store including the bait and well, well everything that gets bought from the store. You really gonna do me like this and give me five sardines? More sardines. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Am I forgetting what level we need for getting a herring? I thought it was five. It is not five. Oh, no, rods. It is ten. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to shrimp up the ten, and then we'll get our herring. You know what? While I'm here, I'm just going to get the net from this guy, and... I think I'm gonna say that anybody that gives us an item like this and doesn't specifically say they have like you know as many as I need I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's one so he's he's tagged or the tile he's on is tagged whatever level eight level nine and ten okay and along with the list of you know, kills, items picked up, items bought from shops. I'm also recording how many fish I get out of each fishing spot until I hear your guys' feelings about, you know, whether I should have a cap on how many fish I should be able to fish out of a fishing spot. All right, there's our herring, thank God. All right, Charlie. Yeah, here's your herring, man. We you mean nothing interesting happens? I have it. Um. I don't know what happened. I guess I didn't read the clue before fishing the herring, so I need to go fish another herring. Kind of bullshit, but whatever. All right, herring two. And, uh, you know, while we're here, I figured I'd just go ahead and take out these regular trees over here next to the mage training arena. Besides the singular teak tree down near the ruins of Uzer, these are all of the trees in the desert. So with this, and once I get 35 and chop down that teak tree, that'll be every tree I have access to in the desert. Hey, 28. All right, casket, nice. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Steel dagger. I mean, I guess it's technically our is it best in slot besides the axe? It doesn't matter, it's neither a good. Level 29 woodcutting. Ooh, first G. So I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna put this into. My instinct says smithing because I know there's not very many, you know, ores in the world, so we're gonna have very few smithing experience. But at the same time, I also kinda wanna put it in construction because all these trees would have to be used for planks unless we can find another source. I don't think there's a place you can just straight buy them. And I feel like construction is going to be 
probably one of the most difficult things to level to any, you know, competency. Level 30 woodcutting, we can now cut willows. I'm still mulling over putting this lamp into construction just to be, like, really sure of my choice. Alright, let's chop down the first willow tree. <laughs> of course, we only get one log. Well, we can't go down like that, let's uh, go for another. Damn, that does not bode well. Level 7 thieving. This man in Alcarid has no talk option, so we can one-click pickpocket him. So I'm gonna work on this for a bit. I've decided we definitely are putting the lamp and probably most free XP things into construction, but I need to buy a house before I can do that, so we're gonna be stealing every GP of that 1k we need to buy one. And level 10 thieving. We can now pickpocket farmers. So I'm moving on to the farmer now because we have the level, and he gives you like more than double of the uh, GP than men do, so obvious choice. Alright, level 15. We can now pickpocket hand members, and they have a pretty useful table of loot that is definitely going to come in handy in the future. Alright, level 16, and a bit more than we actually needed in terms of uh, GP. So, let's go become homeowners and take out some Varakian trees while we're at it. Level 31, woodcutting. House and saw acquired. So let's pop this hunky 10 XP into construction. I should probably do daddy's home before I use any more lamps or XP books on this to maximize the XP I get out of them. Alright, we're starting rune mysteries now so we can unlock rune crafting and the rune essence mines, one of our only renewable sources of mining XP, as well as unlock uh, you know several other quests for that. And level 32 woodcutting on this lonely oak tree down here, and I think we'll pick up everything in the tower while we're here, just so we can go ahead and add this chunk to the picked up items map. It occurs to me that when I did Restless Ghost and didn't kill the skeleton, we wasted some XP, which sucks, but, you know, hey. And hey, why not start M catchers now as well? That's what that quest is called. And another chunk totally looted. Someday this map will be mostly red, but for now, just the two chunks. 33 woodcutting. I'm gonna go ahead and get these willows chopped up. Oh god, what? I forgot these guys are aggressive. We gotta keep on chopping this tree until it's complete, or we just have to abandon it as harvested, though. Alright, just get all the food out. You fellas ever seen level 34 woodcutting? The danger intensifies. I dropped the jewelry nest just to uh, tempt me to go out here. Alright, full inventory. We gotta go bank. Okay, nice, that worked again. Now hopefully his uh, unaggroed friend won't walk too close to us, you know? Alright, finally. That was so stressful, jeez. Weird, another tree you can't cut down. I think this guy is supposed to be in here from the bank robbery by the wise old man. Not that I remember what quest that's from. And rune mystery is complete. 35 wood cutting, we can now cut down teak trees. Like I said earlier, there is only one teak tree near the ruins of Uzer in the desert in the whole free to play area, which, oh, that's not even free to play, never mind. Level 36 wood cutting, I'm working my way back here to get the willows that we left behind. Um, that's actually my ultimate plan. I'm going to cut down every tree and then suddenly get 99 combat from literally everything dying from lack of oxygen. Holy hell, the Drake? Man, who knew he played RuneScape as a duck? It's crazy. Okay, so I have chopped every tree up to oak from the entire desert area left over to Draenor, and with that we've reached level 39. I think I'm gonna tackle Draenor Manor as its own kind of thing once I clear out Asgarnia, just because my level is so low that those trees that aren't really trees can actually screw me up pretty quick, and I'm thinking that with the completion of some clue scrolls we may actually get some like combat levels. I don't know if it's worth mentioning, very apparent to me though, but all the dead trees only take up one tile, except for these huge ones, and all the regular trees sit in the middle of four tiles. So I don't know if that's actually interesting or not, I've been looking at trees for quite a while now, but uh, I've kind of started to see the trees as like four tile blocks where no one can ever step. So, you know, when you think about it, there's a lot less walkable tiles in the game than you might think. Lumberjacking thoughts. Alright, so I guess I recorded a blank screen for a few woodcutting levels, but you didn't really miss much. Uh, we got this clue scroll though, from a nest, and we're gonna go see what it wants. 
Uh, this rat's gonna screw me up though, so hold on. All right, Barbarian Village. 43 woodcutting, just uh, filling up an inventory from a far off tree while I'm out here. All right, Hundig, Hunding, whatever the hell his name is, has the casket forest and for for us, not forest. And we'll open it right here where we can overlook the blatant destruction of the environment we've wrought. A black robe, okay. Well, uh, it is a thing. Hey, seed nest. Gotta chop this down before it takes up the inventory, though. Orange tree seed. 44 wood cutting, and I'm gonna have to drop some of these. All right, so it's Halloween right now, and I guess there's like a trick-or-treat thing that's probably TLDR, so uh, wear a costume and get candy. I don't know why I thought it would be more complicated than that. Guile's my man. Ooh, hell yeah. Thank you for the emerald, my guy. 45 wood cutting. We can now chop maples. So that's actually incredible since it was kind of a concern of mine that we would uh, get to them too early and wouldn't be able to cut them. But wow, was I wrong. Who's a spooky dog? Yes, you are. Good boy. Oh my god, I did not realize his costume was this. This is incredible. I I'm so amused by this. <laughs> I am genuinely scared of this bear. Oh, oh my god. No, okay, maybe he isn't aggressive. Oh, holy crap, he just pooped out a clue scroll. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll head right over. Perfectly full inventory, and look, he's totally friendly. Or just scared of my costume. Okay, we put our candy in here, and... Oh. Oh my, that's okay. Well, uh, I guess we already took off the mask, so we can't put that back on. Uh, <laughs> gotta stick with this, right? All right, off to roll, though. All right, off to Charlie. All right, Charlie, don't screw me here. Oh, no, that's... Yeah, that's, uh... That's screwing me here, Charlie. All right, I, I don't want to just throw away clue scrolls because I totally didn't wait to hear what you all thought. I just decided to start doing them all, but, um... I got a plan for crafting, kinda. But for that plan, we're going to need some renewable food, so I'm stealing this guy's money to go buy tons of beer like any other upstanding member of society. Like any good bartender, this guy will sell you beer with no limits, so I can always buy more beer. Thank God. Uh, yeah, just just one more. One one more on top of that? Nah, nah I don't have a problem, but like one, just one more. 